Where did the view that a Muslim man's beard must be the length of a fist originate from? It is uh, from the narration where we, which uh, Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu, uh, if he would perform Hajj, after the Hajj, he would just grab on his beard and he would just shorten whatever is uh, longer than that. Okay? Um, but, but then these scholars say, yes, so Prophet Muhammad ordering to lengthen the beard um, mm. is uh, uh, explained, uh, yeah. Uh, where did the view that a Muslim man's beard must be the length of a fist originate from? Yeah, so as we said, uh, it is from Ibn Omar, okay, who used to grab on his beard after performing Hajj, when he used to shave his hair and take a shower after Hajj, you know, after stoning. So he would just grab his beard and then he would... Uh, cut whatever is uh, longer than that. Okay, so in here uh, we have two or three narrations in which Prophet Muhammad says um, uh, shorten your uh, moustaches or shave them off and um, uh, lengthen your beard. Of actual hadith, there is no any single hadith in which it says uh, lengthen. There is no any hadith which speaks about length, but it says about um, releasing it. Okay. Uh, uh, so releasing could mean many things. One of them is you. So you do not, for example, wipe it towards your uh, uh, towards your neck, mm. but uh, uh, let it let it uh, free. Mm. You do understand. So there is no any single narration where it says uh, with, where it speaks about length. There is no any single hadith where it says towilu lengthen, but it says afu means uh, um, let it free. Okay, or it says wafiru uh, means uh, fulfill it. Fulfilling does fulfill not fulfill it and let it free. That's let what it free. It says. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. Mm. So fulfilling means do not take from, do not shave from it, but just uh, make it full. Okay. What is the full bit? So full bit is whatever is growing on the lahya. This, uh, this. Uh, uh, do you know this uh, uh, jaw? Jawline. So do you know this bone in Arabic language is called lahya. Mm. So whatever is growing on it, that mm. is called the, the hair of the beard. Because beard is this uh, uh, bone in Arabic language. Okay? So Prophet Muhammad saying, Wafiru uh, means fulfill it. Means uh, let whatever is growing on top of it. Mm. So he's uh, talking about the width and not the length. So there is not any single hadith which speaks about length of it. Do you understand? But, it, uh, so, uh, but then... Uh, uh, they bring this narration where Ibn Umar actually grabs his beard and then shorts, uh, uh, shortens, I mean, uh, cuts whatever is more than that. So they say Ibn Umar is explaining what Prophet was talking about. Okay? Uh, obviously, it is just, um, if you just compare it to the fiqhi principles, it does not have any academical value. Because Abu Huraira also used to shorten without grabbing, without any fist business. Okay? As well as Ibn Sirin used to shorten, you know the meaning, uh, Muhammad Musin, Tabi, mm. also without any uh, length of uh, fist or two fists or whatever, okay? And then them saying, yes, hadith is explained by uh, Ibn Umar, who say, uh, bid is very common thing with men. 124,000 Muslims in the time of Prophet Muhammad, and only one person knows how to do it. In Hanafi Madhab, it's weak, not acceptable at all, okay? Yeah, and also, um, Umar it is in the narration of Muwatta, because the same hadith which orders to lengthen or to fulfill the beard, orders to shorten the mustache. But hadith, authentic hadith in Muwatta, it says that Umar who used to have long mustache. Okay, so then does it mean that Ibn Umar is, uh, Umar is also explaining the meaning of shortening the mustache? So you have to have long. So that's what Prophet said shorten it. Mm. You understand? Mm. So it just does not have any academical mm. value at all. Okay, and then they say yes, uh, because Prophet, in the same hadith, Prophet ordered for three things, or four things. Prophet said, oppose uh, pagans. Okay, and then he said, uh, shorten the mustache, lengthen the beard, and change the color of your hairs. Okay, so they say, um, so among them four, it's only beard is wajib. Having uh, long beard is wajib. But what about the mustache? They say it's recommended. What about um, dyeing your uh, hair? They say permissible or mustahab. 
But what about opposing the pagans? So in some of the cases, it is haram to oppose the uh, pagans. Okay, so as you can see, uh, means prophet ordering for four things, so each of them has different hukum. Academically, it's incorrect. Either all of them wajib or either all of them sunnah or either all of them is haram. Did you understand? As well as Prophet Muhammad um, uh, uh, attaching all of them three things, dyeing your hair and mustache and the, the beard, all of them um, with one reasoning. And the reasoning is to oppose the pagans and Jews and Christians. So right now, Jews, Christians and, uh, for example, the Austrians, they have big beard. Means now reasoning, by, the, by using the same reasoning, we have to shave off our beads. Because um, in Usul Fiqh, we use one principle, okay, which says any hukum which is attached to the reason, mm. so that hukum will change if reason changes. That's, that's a key point, isn't it? 100%. So if you remember today, we were, we were talking about a set of principles, but um, scholars not being genuine or scholars not having courage or not assuming to apply them principles. So it is another example of principle being there, but scholars not uh, applying that principle. Well, as I said, it's only one in a million maybe you can find. Yeah. Wow. No, it's, it's really, really interesting.